Hey everyone, Adam here, or Dead Pixel, I guess. Now that I'm playing Halo, that means I'm Dead Pixel. Anyway, I read a really interesting article this week after the map packs came out from Game Informer where they basically said microtransactions could be coming to the Halo series. Now, it's really just coming off of a little quote that a Halo 4 EP, Dan Araub, Araub, either way, he said that they're keeping their eye on microtransactions and you could potentially maybe see them uh, in future games down the line. And of course, the immediate response from a lot of people is to compare it to like EA and how it can be pay to win and all these other things. But I've been thinking about this one for a while, mainly because I think the way most games do post-game uh, content is very wrong. I don't think a $15, even $10 map pack should be the future of any kind of game. I think Call of Duty, maybe they're the only ones who could really get away with it, but keep in mind for developers to develop anything outside of the main game costs money. It's additional money. And if they don't make it back, they're losing cash. And to do something like a map pack, it seems like such a gamble because it's just like you're asking for such a high premium that only you can even see the playlist on Halo right now is that you don't really even see a lot of people playing the new map pack right now. And it's been that way for almost every Halo since Halo 2. So when they start talking about microtransactions in Halo 4, I get kind of excited because it starts opening up the idea that maybe Microsoft's thinking about making Halo 4 free. Now you're thinking to yourself, Halo 4 free? No, that's stupid. But think of the experience that you have right now, someone who has paid for the game. So you log in, and you're playing with a bunch of people who paid $60 for the game at launch, $40 on sale, whatever you want to call it. So these are all people that basically paid to get in. But then you notice that the population starts to drop after a while when a new Call of Duty comes out, when other games come out, when people just kind of you know wane interest after they've unlocked everything. So in my mind, the microtransaction thing really opens the door. Because now you could have a whole new population, a whole bunch of newbies, little kids who have no idea even what Halo is, but basically just over flooding the marketplace. It would be amazing just to have your new Xbox, you buy it, and right there, Halo 4 comes packaged with the game. It's just on your hard drive, but it's just the multiplayer. And so you start asking yourself, well, how do you make it free to play or microtransaction based? Well, everything that you need is right there. It's basically all the cosmetic stuff. You already unlock all these helmets that do fuck all, and they don't really, they're not really there for anyone else, but for people who want to look pretty and dress up their dolly. And there's always going to be people like that. That's why League of Legends and Dota really work well. They're very balanced games, and you're just dressing up a dolly. Yeah, there's like different items you can get. There's the Team Fortress 2 mentality too, where some weapons are different, balancing like that. But I think Halo in itself works so simply. And why it isn't free to play right now is actually kind of a strange question, but one that I've been asking for a very long time. Like, why, why have, why hasn't Microsoft looked at this as a premium opportunity? You have a dwindling population of players that you could easily bring back by just giving them a free game. And in fact, you're not losing like the gamble that you that they're doing with the map packs. You're actually they'd be making a lot more money off of like a $1 helmet, a bunch of other stuff. Overall though, I don't really know how a free-to-play version of Halo would look and feel. Probably something similar like Blacklight Retribution where like maybe some loadout slots are blocked out and for a dollar or two you unlock it and you can buy a new helmet. And new helmets and new armor sets are coming out every other week. Imagine that and that having a player base that is continually coming back to unlock these pieces and I don't know, maybe if you bought the game, it's less of a grind. And for the people who get it for free, it's a lot harder. The point is, I don't see why microtransactions would be a bad thing for Halo 4. Anyway, this is just something that I've had on my mind for a very long time. I want map packs to die. I want maps to be free. And I want the cosmetic stuff to be there for the people to have a reason to just keep coming back week after week so that there are actually more people playing Halo. Anyway, it's a dumb, quick little rant-ish thing. Thank you for watching, guys. Hopefully, we'll be putting up uh, more Halo stuff here on the Inside Gaming channel. So stay tuned for that. Love all of you and every man in this room. Love you.